What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, back with today's video. Some more amazing attacks to take a look at today. Um, got some Town Hall 14, 13, 12 action as usual from this war, uh, One Hive Genesis versus LP4 Hades. And guys, wanna show um, a couple attacks that really uh, stood out to me. And this one was a quad clone attack. Um, we can talk about how much value those clones even got really because it's a bit questionable, but um, I think the key here that you see with the success of this attack is coming at the eagle first. Um, the eagle is probably the biggest threat. And then look how far the the um, battle blimp gets across the base uh, before it even uh, opens up. Four clones down, a bunch of those balloons go down, take out the town hall. Of course, the town hall damage will end up taking most of them out, uh, but also cleared out the inferno tower, some other stuff in the area. I think, you know, the, the cloning was a bit excessive. Maybe could have repurposed those spells elsewhere. But once again, uh, you'll see the Royal Champion is going to be pretty clutch here, coming through, helping take out these defensive buildings. Um, of course, she's not great against defensive heroes, so that's why it was helpful that some of these dragons, these dragon riders, still up, still able to uh, help take out the defensive heroes, as well as the Archer Queen over there doing her thing. Now she's going to open up that wall, get some shots on the... Uh, Stone Slammer there, or not the Stone Slammer, the, uh, I always, uh, space out on the name of that defense for some reason, but you guys see what I'm saying, um, and then the Grand Warden's still up with a few of those Dragon Riders, gonna finish off these last few defenses, um, and, uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward, but I think it's interesting to see, you know, this attack work, because it's really a brute force type attack, um, of course, you'd have to have some good funneling, and I think, you know, come at a good side on the base, but really, um, if you can get the value with your battle blimp getting really deep in the base, um, dropping those balloons out, cloning them, getting some good value with that, um, there's a you know pretty big room for error, and uh, you can still three star even if it's not like the most seamless attack. So nice one there. Um, go ahead and take a look at another Town Hall 14, and this one really impressed me. Um, very nice use of like lots of little operations to set up this Lalo for success and um, starting off here has the invisibility spell um, some skeletons and I'm not sure why okay so the invisibility spell had to be dropped very precisely um, so that the inferno tower itself would not become invisible so I, I'm not sure how much spell space that took but got the job done looks like still has one skeleton spell in the bag uh, which was probably just there in case it was needed but an interesting little uh, technique there using the uh, invisibility plus skeleton spell combo. Those skeletons were able to survive outside the invisibility spell just long enough in order to take out that inferno tower. They have that shield so it's not an instant kill uh, once they get targeted by a defense. And uh, kind of falling off of that, the king, the royal champion coming in one compartment and basically clear that entire thing out. Um, plus get some damage on some other things. Unfortunately, the king kind of limited how much value the royal champion could get there. Would have liked to see maybe a uh, headhunter or two there. Queen coming in here has that invisibility spell maybe left over, maybe not. Maybe that was intended. Not sure. But um, this is going to get some good value. Take out Town Hall, of course. Um, get the Warden, uh, Builder Hut. And uh, she's not going to get as far as taking down the actual Inferno Tower there. Um, but that's okay because... The funnel was already set by taking out that central inferno tower, then clearing the other compartment down at 6 o'clock with the king and the royal champion. So the uh, the pathing is pretty much set, and it's pretty good because it's going right at that eagle to start. Going to get that down uh, first. Now the only thing is um, you'll see these hounds are going to get way out in front and basically be sacrificial over there. All the pups will get killed. Um, so I would have liked to maybe see some way to either speed up the balloons a little bit or have some of those support balloons coming in quicker up top. But um, I'm no Lalo expert, um, don't claim to be, so maybe this was the best move to just really wait and let those balloons come across. Has the spells to really freeze a lot of that damage and a couple of haste as well at key points. Um, so that's gonna be enough to get the job done. Plenty of minions, couple of headhunters, I think were in there to take out one of those defensive heroes and uh, this one will wrap up. So I really like the setup of this attack. I thought it was very cool. And that was kind of the key to getting this uh, attack to work. So fasting, uh, fast forwarding to the end here. 
And uh, let's go ahead and move on, take a look at some Town Hall 13 stuff, um, starting with number 16 here. So this one, uh, once again, was I think a, a pretty well executed Lalo attack, this time using the uh, Queen Charge. And right off the bat, lots of good value there, um, getting some of those Teslas, uh, four Teslas there, uh, plus Archer Towers, stuff like that. Um, had to drop a few balloons to test for those seeking air mines. I think one or two did pop in the area. So protecting those healers. Then another one coming in, uh, getting a bunch more of those Sams taken out, plus the tornado spell. I uh, really had that, you know, almost baiting the use of a battle blimp there. Arguably the battle blimp would have made it though, because a lot of those seeking air mines are pretty late. So the tornado spell is, I guess, the only thing. Maybe this, the idea is that the Tesla pulls everything out um, away from the town hall, perhaps. But um, does a good job of disarming all of that. Then one more balloon, uh, and then there's the, uh, the battle blimp. There actually was one more seeking air mine that was hidden there. So I think literally every seeking air mine on the base was there, which is okay because it's a Lalo attack. You know, those are going to be there and not on the other air defenses. So the hounds will last a lot longer. Um, so keep that in mind. It, you know, it's not really a zero sum game by taking those out. Uh, so anyway, uh, the CC is, is lured, had some. Uh, Yetis in there to take down the town hall, which was, um, I think, a good choice. You know, if you're not gonna, if you don't want to invest anything beyond like a rage spell, um, the Yetis are sometimes the safest play for getting that taken out, and they can get some extra value even after the town hall explosion. Has the poison spell for the pups, very nice. And then this, I think, was pretty key here. Before the Lala was set up, um, coming in and using those heroes on the front end. Of course, the eagle is firing, but the king is able to tank that pretty well and uh, help take out the uh, um, really tank for the world champion if nothing else while she does the does most of the damage on these defenses and then here's the lalo probably was a little bit low on time so i had to get that going if nothing else but a uh, good use of the uh, warden's ability i think that was a good timing because the eagle would have been an issue uh, right at the beginning there and actually almost out of spells here but has one more haste and uh, drops that down because the troops weren't going to the eagle right away but the real champion was actually still up and did the bulk of the work on the eagle so good stuff there queen meets up on the other side i'm um, really everything just converged in one place which was really nice um, and has the cleanup troops as well bunch of balloons over there a little mini balloon parade uh, to celebrate this three star so good stuff there got two more attacks to take a look at here uh, we got number 19, one more Town Hall 13 attack for you guys. And um, this one, not really a Lalo. I mean, you, you notice a the theme. We're looking at a ton of air attacks today, and that's just what's working right now. But uh, this one I thought was a an interesting little deviation uh, from a Lalo. And it's a strategy that I've seen been working a couple times uh, in this war here, Town Hall 13 in particular. Uh, so... Basically coming in with the battle blimp, clearing out more or less an entire compartment, um, getting some decent value there. Then the queen charge, taking out the CC, gonna go on a little bit of walk here. The funnel's created obviously very nicely. A few sneaky goblins to kind of make sure that the funnel's set on the other side for the entry. And then uh, these uh, super wall breakers come in. Uh, test balloons, uh, has to, I think maybe could have got away with only one sneaky wall breaker um, had he let the queen take out that cannon. But this was the safer play, just going ahead and using two um, to prevent any possibility of the queen not going in the base here. Again, has a another yeti and like a wizard to even create that funnel better. So, you know, every attack is about funneling. You know, that, that's really what this game boils down to. So uh, sometimes it's worth it investing that extra troop space. Queen coming through, got some great value on that rage. And then again on the freeze there, getting the single inferno plus the uh, expo there. Queen will step up, take down... Uh, that single inferno and she's basically on her way doing her thing so uh, not a lot of damage for her besides well okay she is going to step up in a lot of damage and take that back uh, but has the ability was did a good job saving that meanwhile uh, here come the dragon riders uh, the royal champion and the dragon riders doing a good job um, you know ignoring those storages that would have been an issue had this been like a regular dragon attack going straight for the defenses um, so this one I think you know if the air defenses are in, you know that the pathing is a little weird. This is a better choice sometimes than doing a lalo. It's also I think a little bit quicker, arguably, um, if you can get the minions down, before, you know, in time. 
uh, you can kind of have everything move in and kind of a wave there. So m minions are in. The king, I think, was dropped to tank and kind of fell behind. Now the ability hit. He's going to do a good job getting the cleanup going. A uh, ton of troops left up, the queen included. She did take a lot of damage, but was able to survive with her ability, and that'll do it. So uh, nice attack. One more to take a look at. Like I said, this is a, going down to our Town Hall 12 action. Um, Town Hall 12, you know, you can really three-star a base a lot of ways, and that's really true at any of these top Town Hall levels, to be honest, but Town Hall 12 especially. Um, so this is just one of a couple things that are working. Has the rocket balloons in this one, which I thought was cool, and uh, you'll see how they're used at the beginning here. King down, um, can let the king in, and I think intentionally have the queen walk here, uh, which is a good strategy because the queen going in would not have gotten anything extra. Um, than what the king's already going to get in that compartment. Meanwhile, the rocket balloons come in. I think maybe got a few defenses taken out. Not entirely sure. There's a ton of value there. Uh, then the zap quake on the uh, some of those air defenses, loosening up the base there and making it a lot softer for the dragons to come in in just a sec. King actually got a ton of value and is still up, still working. I think he might even get it over there and start taking out some of those defenses at the top of the base in a sec. Uh, meanwhile, the queen kind of meandering, taking out the Tesla farm, or at least part of it, and got some good value as well. You'll notice all these ground expos, which are not going to be an issue as the dragons come in, and a bit of a split in the deployment. So a couple dragons going up top. Typically, that's not ideal, but I think it worked out okay. Um, a couple dragons up top where that single inferno is, or the multi inferno is, then the majority of them going in uh, to the town hall, which I think was the intended pathing. But I like the stone slammer here. Um, really, the slammer is good if you can let it kind of take out its own section of the base sometimes because uh, it can tank and it kind of moves at its own speed. So if you want to split your dragons and your stone slammer, that's often a good choice. Uh, the stone slammer, of course, targeting defenses. So you can use it at a part of the base that may, might still have defenses like this base. Um, but uh, the pathing is, uh, is not great for, you know, troops that don't, that will target anything. So did a good job kind of differentiating between the two uh, types of air units. And a couple extra reinforcement uh, rocket balloons kind of propelling in there at the beginning and uh, taking out some remaining defenses. Good stuff. Um, oh, bit of a lag on my screen there. Uh, good stuff. And Tesla Farm finally gets finished off just to end this one. So we'll fast forward. These last few buildings go down. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, uh, if you get a chance uh, in your settings, please do enter that creator code. I really do appreciate it. Um, that's creator code BISECT, and it uh, helps me continue to make videos. So that will do it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all next day.